Hi, so after the last video I did, I've been asked to go into my Norway tackle box in a, in a bit more detail and a bit more depth and, and show you guys what I do take with me and how much I carry, as we also get asked a lot of how much should I take of this and how much should I take of that. So hopefully this can give you an in-depth look at what it is I carry and everything I'm going to show you here today is enough for me to get through a two-week trip. So um, starting off with uh, the leaders. Uh, you don't need spools and spools and spools of this stuff. I had a guy turn up once with a thousand meters of mono on a spool. I don't know whether he's going to go long lining or something, but you, you don't need it. Okay, so basically I take two spools with me, 100 meter spools. Uh, one of these is uh, one millimeter or 163 pounds in weight. That's the general leader that I use all the time. And then I also take this 1.2 millimeter, which is 205 pound. I use this then for making up my dead rigs and uh, stinger hooks, etc. Uh, nice flexy stuff, uh, but very, very strong and, and very, very supple actually. So it doesn't kink up too much after a period of time. So it's, this stuff's pretty good. I've got to make this. Um, but the, the basically, that's that's all I would take spool wise 100 meter spools, two of them, maybe a third, uh, depending. But that's, that's basically all I take on the spool of monos, etc. And then moving over to my terminal tackle uh, everyday stuff, I take this box here, which is literally 20 centimeters by 100 centimeters, uh, and I can get enough stuff in here terminal wise to last me for the two weeks, no problem. Starting with, um, you know, I, I like these um, big heavy duty barrel swivels, 275 pound or up to 400 pounds, some of the ones I got. So I take a couple of packets of them. This ample enough to make up two rods for for a, uh, for the whole trip. And then on, uh, alongside that, then I would take um, a couple of packets of these crane swivels. Um, these ones themselves look really small, but they are 510 pound breaking strain. So good quality stuff. Um, a couple of packets of each. That's that's all you're going to need for that period of time. And then going over then to um, split rings, I take two different sizes with me. Uh, first one would be these these slightly bigger ones. They're about the size of a pound coin, and they got a strain of about 500 or 600 pound. I think these ones are. So I take maybe 20 of these, 25 of these, and then I've also got some slightly smaller ones, um, and these ones are you know, 200 pound breaking strain or something. So a little bit of variation, but about 20, 25 of each is is ample for for that period of time. The other thing I like to use, uh, which unfortunately you can't get anymore, Savage Gear made these and they've stopped making them now, and that's these uh, big fish snap-on things. So they just basically are, act like a, a giant corkscrew, and then any kind of um, shad or perk or something, you know, you just wind it on, on like a corkscrew effect, uh, uh, all the way down, and you know it can't come off. Uh, and like I say, unfortunately, if you do find these, I'd buy them, uh, but. You, they are pretty rare to see now, and and, and that's it. That's that's you know, ten ten of these barrel swivels, two packets of crane swivels, and and, and that's all you need. All in this this small little box. I don't need any more. Um, moving over to the next item, probably be hooks. Now, yeah, okay, you you do need you know a substantial amount of hooks, but you don't need hundreds and hundreds of them. There's four different types I take with me, uh, starting with this um, circle hook. I use these 10 10O mustard, 10 mustard circle hooks. These I use for my dead rigs for halibut fishing and dead baiting, etc. So I probably take about, I don't know, 10 or 15 of these hooks in total just to make up enough rigs to make sure if uh, I snap, you know, something goes wrong, I, I, can, I can rig up quite quickly again. So I'll take them, and then the next one would be assist hooks. I take just a few assist hooks, not many, because I don't use a lot of perks these days, but yeah, I just take a few to be on the safe side, or Muppet, Muppet assist hooks, depending, you know. So I just take a couple of them, not many. And then the next one then would be your trebles. Um, a lot of people think you've got to have bloody great big massive trebles to go out there, you don't. I just take a good quality, 4.0 or 5.0 in size. These these are amply big enough for everything. You can use these uh, on the bottom of perks. You can use them as a stinger hook on your shad. 
uh, and I probably take a pack, maybe two, but that's that's it. That's, I don't take any more than that. And then the last type of hook then would be um, stinger hooks for shads, etc. So you can either buy these guys ready made with a Kevlar cord. You know, like, you know that's just nothing's going to really get through that. Um, or you can buy them dry, as we say, and you make your own uh, cord using the two hundred and five pound mono, something like that. Um, you know, you might go through a few of these actually. So I, I tend to take quite a few, maybe twenty five or thirty of these in my tub. Um, and then you know, it's it's enough. There's there's another type of stinger which has got like the um, the twin hooks on the back as opposed to the twin spikes. Um, I prefer the twin spikes just as twin hooks because these do less damage to shad. These these tend to rip the shads apart a bit more. But these 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 um these work better from my point of view. So I got all those. So I got this tin. It's quite a small tin. Plenty of hooks in there. And then moving over to the, the next thing then would be um, dead bait rigs. So you know I take uh maybe two or three of this 450 gram size these are the size i use most of the time but then if i do find areas with a slower drift uh, i might go down to the 300 so i might take two of these uh, so three or four between the two sizes is, is ample enough um and then you know that's basically most of it. I, I rig up, pre-rig up a lot of stuff before I go out um, on the boat and basically I can get it all into this small wallet here. Um, plenty, plenty of wallets in there and I have my two hook, uh, circle hook set up for dead beating, a couple of them. And I have my leaders ready with the big fish swivel on the end. Uh, so a couple of them all ready to go as well, and, and you know it's all in that little that little packet. There. It's 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 enough. It's enough for the for the whole time, you know. Moving then on to uh, perks. I don't I don't use a lot of perks these days, but I like these fast drop in guys. Three hundred grams, four hundred grams in size with a muppet and sistock, and of course then I'd add the four o uh, circle um, treble lock at the bottom. I'll probably take two of these, uh, not many more these days. And then, you know, we go over then to the uh, the colossal amount of shads that you can actually purchase these days, but I tend to stick with the same ones. They, I find they work best. And at the moment, um, I'm fishing a lot with um, these, um, these 150 gram Savage Eels. I, I love these things. These things are really great fun. And, um, you know, on light gear, They'll pick up anything with Amago of these. It doesn't matter what size. This go big and go home attitude, it's not the case anymore. It's how you present things to the fish. And, and these really do, really do work. And unfortunately, um, being told that Savage Gear have decided to stop making them. So at the moment, if you can get all of these, I would purchase as many as you can. Because, um, you know, out there, these really do work. So I got, I could probably take about five or six packs of these 150 grams. And then um, maybe uh, two packs of the 180s and two packs maybe of these 265s, slightly slightly bigger ones. Um, but you know they all work well. Um, you'll have you'll catch everything on these. Even the halibut will take these. We, we've been catching a lot of halibut on these sand eel things these days. So yeah, so maybe five of these and one or two of these bigger ones. Um, you know, and that's, that'll last me no problem at all. And then moving over to the slightly smaller type shards, these 270 grams. I, I don't take many of these, uh, just a handful, just in case the fish are feeding on that in between size at the time. It just gives you a little bit extra to, to play with. And then mainly then, I fish with these big boys. So anything around the 450 to 560 gram size shads these are what i use most of the time and i probably take five or six different colors of these i mean you know most of them will come with two bodies so you, you should be all right and then you know back to the simple basics you sting a hop then with a uh, straight into the back of the tail wrong way around sorry and then you know you linked up like that so basically 
you know, maybe five or six of these different colors uh, and, 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 and that's it, you know. So you don't need to take loads and loads of stuff, you know, keep it simple. And you, you know, the only other thing left then would be some tools and stuff, so a good pair of scissors and um, a good set of uh, pliers, just a bit of ring pliers. And then basically, guys, I can get all of this into this one box, which isn't very big, as you can see. Um, so I can get all of my turn stuff into that. And basically, that, that's that's all I need to take. Yeah. Other than that, or maybe you should take maybe some super glue, because this helps to repair the shards after a while with the, with the hooks being pulled, etc. Um, it just makes them last a little bit longer. But other than that, guys, like I say, you don't need to take masses of stuff. And uh, I hope that helps. And um, hopefully, we can start traveling again and fishing again. Thank you.